Hey, today I'm reviewing UpHabit's desktop version. UpHabit is, in my understanding, the biggest uh, team building a personal CRM. I've already reviewed their iPhone app. Um, and they actually have more than just an iPhone app. They also have a web version and they also have a desktop version. The reason I'm really interested in the desktop version is because very few personal CRMs offer this. So the only other personal CRM I'm aware of that offers a desktop version is Clay and it's basically a copy of their web version. Um, but in the case of UpHabit, they actually built a native um, app that is in the Mac App Store, so it's only for um, uh, MacBook and Mac Air and Mac whatever users, uh, just so you know. But the reason that they built something natively uh, got me really excited um, and so that's why I wanted to review them today. So let's jump right into it. So I downloaded their software and I'm ready to sign up. Let's get started. So Nathan. And I will type in my password. And I accept the terms. Okay, let's go. So this is going to be exciting. Okay, first connecting contacts. Uh, I think that's great. Uh, and we will never sell your data. So, okay, let's get going. And local calendar, sure. And email integration, that's where it gets serious. Let's, okay. <laughs> Uh, so they don't actually support a Gmail integration on the computer. Let's, I guess I have to skip. Okay. Allow notification. Okay. Is it like, no. Uh, skip. Okay, they're syncing my contacts. Okay, I'm back. Uh, the data is now synced. I uh, just want to have a look at your data to see how they process our data. Okay, that's a big screen. Um, anyway, no time to read this. Let's get started. So first impression, I don't like the way this looks. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I, uh, wow, okay. <laughs> Um, gosh, yeah, uh, so it does look like they've basically tried to do the iPhone app, but on desktop. And it's just, they've just widened, oh wow, okay. Let's see, so I wanna sync, sync contacts, but I can't. So I will not do that. Anyway, I will, how do I add a contact? So I guess I'll, okay, I will add a contact manually. Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah, it does really feel like they've actually just uh, taken the, 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 the iPhone and, and just use the iPhone version to, to use here. Um, so I will add a contact here. Okay, and Marilou is a designer. How do we... Oh, okay, now it works. Designer app, not that app. Okay. And birthday, LinkedIn, all that stuff. We're good, and she's a coworker. And build a relationship. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of what I see for now. Um, gosh, yeah. Okay, it's here I see the dates and I can move around to go in the future. Okay. Now I can see my loser relationship here. There is a note. I can add a reminder. Those are probably month. So I want to stay in touch with Mary Lou. I'll just take an example here. Okay, once every month. I can see the reminder here. And so today I see I have Marilou. Um, 
quick rant on the snooze feature. So um, I know emails have snooze features. So like when you get an email, you can snooze the email and it comes back later and that way you reach inbox zero. I'm not a big fan of it. Um, I think this creates um, kind of a, a, a system uh, that is designed for you to just push stuff further. Like basically you, you look at your emails all the time, but even when you actually can't process them and then you just end up snoozing everything for later. Um, and that's a terrible habit. I think the best way is maybe just don't check your emails too often. Only check your emails when you can actually action stuff. And it's the same thing for a personal CRM. If I'm going on my personal CRM, but actually I don't have the time to reconnect with Mario Luke, then I should maybe just not go on the personal CRM. So that's just to say that I'm not a big fan of this new feature and we would not build it, for example, in, in our app for this uh, very reason. So I want to contact Mary Lou. What happened here? I never contacted her by email. And I allowed her email. Now I can please select a template caption. What happens now? Did it open something? No. I'm very, very confused uh, by what I see here. Um, sync, I guess, is a sync is already running. Okay. By the way, where are all my contacts? My oh, I can see people here. Good. This is data from my calendar. And so here I can start building relationships. Done editing. Okay, build more relationships. It's so weird to have like these super large buttons. Um, and I can see details and, and if I wanna email, And now, I, I'm not sure, like, is it automatically sending emails? Because I, I wouldn't like that, but remove. Gosh, oh, this, <laughs> yeah, I, I'll be honest, I don't like it. Unlock unlimited relationships. That's their paid plan. And you can just have more than 10 relationships. Um, okay. And introductions, I want to make an introduction. This is the, the, a new feature they had. Um, and I think I reviewed already on their iPhone app, but let's have a look at how it works here. So I want to introduce two contacts with follow-up. And now I need to add, so I will introduce Mary Lou. This name. Well, I thought I can marry. Last name. Let's call her Lou. Anyway, let's move on. Okay, and so I add it manually, and then they basically pre-write. I would like to introduce you. Okay, let's let's just finish it so that we see how it works. And I will introduce you, Stefano. So. Introduction one, what is that? Oh gosh. Compose draft email. And okay, <laughs> let's stop it there. And here I can discover my contacts in this very special view. And anything interesting in settings? No. We can just see the link data sources, local calendar, local contacts, and we cannot actually link more because it's not supported. Okay, that finishes it. I'll be honest, I'm terribly disappointed. Um, I thought they had actually built a native experience um, and that they had built something truly unique for uh, Apple Mac users. The reality is very far away, as you could see. Um, the design really gives the impression that they copied uh, their mobile version 
and just enlarged it like this uh, on, a, on a horizontal scale, um, which creates these massive buttons that look very weird. Um, also, they actually don't support uh, email syncing on their desktop version, um, which means basically you have to start with the iPhone version and then use their desktop version, but you cannot use the desktop version as a standalone uh, solution, which is weird to me at least because I send most of my emails and most of my communication actually happens on desktop. Um, so um, if I ever was to use a personal CRM, and I am, um, I would only use the desktop version. And while I don't want to be um, annoying regarding design, I think that there is a sort of a minimum level of proper design that you should um, expect from an app in order um, to make it enjoyable to use and um, I'll let you judge obviously it depends on your tastes um, but to me this is very far away from a usable uh, app uh, based on their uh, UI and UX um, so yeah very disappointed um, uh, let's see let's give them some time obviously happy to do a review, review uh, when they update their, their app um, but for now um, I definitely do not recommend it um, we had a, a review of the best personal CRMs for 2020, um, so maybe have a look at this list um, to try out something else. Bye-bye.